Every nation has a border with space, if you think about it, right? So uh, it's really important for us, it's a commons there, and to be able to share that commons for the betterment of humankind here on Earth. And so convening everyone at least once a year, getting all those space powers together to talk, and this is, you know, as I say, industry, commercial, uh, and the national security community, to bring them all together and have these discussions and dialogues is super important. Uh, you know, this organization was founded over 75 years ago in the heart of the Cold War and really when the Soviet Union and the U.S. were the two major superpowers in space. We continue to play an important role in connecting uh, all the world's uh, actors in space. And so it's really important for us to have uh, a, a Congress like this so that we can convene and get those folks together and have the dialogue. We got together 50, more than 50 of the world's space leaders in one room to talk about things like um, security, diplomacy, uh, and sustainability in space. And it's great to see that dialogue. So, Having emerging space countries meet with the leaders in space is super important for them to learn and figure out how to operate and become space-faring nations. So that was a very important outcome. Uh, just convening all of the technical community this week is also very important to share ideas about the progress of space, where we're heading on the technical fronts. You know, we have dozens and dozens of technical committees here at the IC and they're all meeting to exchange ideas about best practices in space. We've been able to more than double the size of the organization over the last uh, five years, which has been fantastic. And uh, you know, I, I stand on the shoulders of giants. I came in after Pascal Ehrenfreund and before her, Jean-Yves Legal, two of my dear friends, uh, and they started the momentum on this, so I don't want to take full credit. But uh, we've had tremendous success in growing this Congress. We had a record-setting Congress in Milan last year where we convened over 11,000 space professionals, the largest gathering of space professionals in the history of humankind, so that was fantastic. We're here in, in, uh, in Australia now and talking about sustainability this week, which is fantastic. Sustainability has a lot of pieces to it. We talk about sustainability in space, of the space environment, and the ability to operate there securely. We have multi-actors, we have commercial, we have civil, we have military operators in space, but really the benefit is for sustaining life here on Earth, and that's the most important part. We go to space to improve life here on planet Earth.